Hey guys, so it's time for a haul y'all. <laughs> we on Saturday decided to go to an estate sale that was an hour away. Uh, ended up at the wrong house and then drove another 20-25 minutes to the correct house to this estate sale. Anyway, it was definitely worth the drive because we ended up spending the entire day out thrifting. We went to a Salvation Army. We found an indoor flea market. So. For this video, I'm going to, to show you the haul, the things that I picked up. Okay, so as you can see, I showed up to the completely wrong house. We ended up using the guy's bathroom. He was super nice. It was the husband or the home of the woman who runs the actual estate sale company. So then we went to the correct house and we went shopping, as you guys saw, and I will show you the things that I picked up. All right, so let's dig in the first. Thing I'll show you is this candle which I think is amazing it's like this oh gosh what color is this even I don't know it's kind of a yellow I guess but then it's got brownish in it anyway it's super pretty old um, kind of carved candle it's got florals in it unburned of course so this um, next I'll show you I got this necklace which has like sort of I think it's I think it's like a resin or something because the back looks like that but it's like a green looks like a green stone with this gold outline real pretty long necklace and there was this necklace that I also picked up I think I paid two dollars a piece for the necklaces as well so there's that one which is like a really pretty heart it's not a locket I thought it was a locket it's not a locket it doesn't open. Uh, it's got the little diamond and the pearls and the gold and all the fancy who na 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 la la that my daughter especially loves. She already wore that one for a whole day. I picked up this Luau Hut Tiki. It's a ceramic pottery. It actually says OMC Japan on the bottom. And it's like this cool brown harumph looking Tiki guy. These generally sell pretty well for me. They like or Hawaiian style items generally sell pretty well for me. Paid five bucks for this. It is a Polaroid camera, Color Pack 2 land camera. I just recently, ow, I just hit myself in the face with the thing. I just recently sold a Polaroid album that I found at a Salvation Army. I think I paid a dollar for it. I sold it for 20 bucks and it sold in like, I listed it and it sold in like a couple of hours. So I don't know if I priced it too low or whatever. It was just like a black land camera Polaroid made album. So if you see those around, definitely pick them up. I this is 35 but I paid I think two dollars for this um, it doesn't have any makers marking on it but it's just it's a, a true vintage kind of a southwestern pattern camera strap I didn't want the actual camera that they wanted 35 dollars for so I asked her if I could just buy the strap and she said yeah totally so I totally bought it so I totally liked it <laughs> This is one of my favorite things. I'm really strongly debating keeping this even though it's completely impractical for my life and um, like actually using. Maybe I can really actually use it. I don't know. Anyway, your little pen goes here. It's like a green stone bottom. Sticker's been removed so I don't know the maker. It's got like brown running through it and then it's got these three arched gold pieces. I had to tighten up a little because they were a little loose. And the screws on the bottom no problem paid five dollars for this it is super 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 cute so I don't know I just really really love that obviously I mostly only buy things that I really love but there are certain things that I just like really love and that's one of them like really really um here is an anchor built uh it has some squeezy things attached to it that don't need to be there but it also has an adjustable arm that comes down so it stands up hopefully you can see that whole operation there um, anyway 
I've sold one of these artist easels before. They go for like $50, $75 on eBay. I paid $15 for this one. And I don't know, I just think it's really cool. It's like decor or to actually utilize if you're an artist. I'm sure that will come in super handy. Let's see, all right. Let's go here. This, I paid up for this a little bit, I think. I want to say, yeah, $18. This is more than I usually pay for any one item, but I wanted this for myself. Um, it's made in Mexico. And it is like like a brass metal plate Aztec calendar, really colorful on like a black wood background. So then it also has your information on the back about the calendar itself. And then, yeah, so I paid $18 for that guy, but that's for me. My mom used to have one of these, like a stone one hung up. It was like a jade stone one hung up in our house for a really long time when we were kids. So I have fond memories of that. I paid a dollar a piece for these, I want to say, but I think they are super pretty. Landscape paintings are not usually my thing, but the colors in this are just incredible. So, Wind Fine Prints Timber Line Lake by Wilmer, 11 by 14 <coughs> print. It's not the actual painting, it's a print. And this one is called Italian Scene Wind Fine Prints, 11 by 14 again. Um, this one's really pretty too. It's got the little deer at the bottom with their funny long ears. I thought they were cute, but anyway, super pretty colors. Again, like next to each other, they'd probably be really pretty also. Get some like fun dark wood frames or something cool to frame them in and hang them up. I'm planning on like redoing some of the decor for my bedroom because I bought these um, dressers. I'll show you them now. They're amazing orange and white, like 70s dressers. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit in my room because my room is tiny, and so, but I'm gonna make it work. I paid eight dollars, no, four dollars. Four dollars for, smells like house, anyway. <laughs> four dollars for this. It's like a mustard yellow uh, knit afghan. And I thought it was pretty cool mostly especially because of the way it's finished at the end how, oh, schmutz. how it has the oh my god these things make my eyes itch <laughs> i love the color that was my favorite part about that and the little fringe and the triangle-y shapes at the bottom i'm doing really good about adulting words here today guys there's so much dust in the air right now it's making my eyes hurt Okay, oh, these are clothes I had just finished listing. I got these, this one and this one, because I'm a huge King of the Hill fan and so is my boyfriend and I just thought, like, he thought it would be funny, so, and he did, he thought it was funny. Actually, I told him I bought the Chuck Mangione, Mangione, um, albums and then he put on some songs and we ended up listening to Chuck Mangione all day long that day. So anyway, that might have been a huge mistake. Either way, I bought those because I thought they were funny. They were a dollar a piece, I think, I want to say. And it was worth every penny just for the experience. Oh my god, the dust is unreal. Okay. Oh, this thing is crazy. Super bright orange and yellow tapestry. Um, I think it would be a bedspread. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like fully fringed all the way around except for on one side, so I want to say it's for a bid. Aha, price tag. Eight dollars. Paid eight dollars for this. I oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know if it has a tag at all, but here's one right here. How convenient. Bates bed spreads pre shunk double size. So double bed blanket. <laughs> Definitely full bed, though. Tablecloth. This is like vintage, straight up for roots. Tablecloth. Really cute. I've sold one of these before. It sold really fast. So I don't know if you're going for like the vintage party vibes. 
All right, so moving on from the tablecloth. Next, I'll show you this dress. I paid $5 for this dress. That was hanging off one of the doors. Yeah, it's a little more steam than I would have hoped. <laughs> now that I got it out the bag, there's a nice big schmutz on it right there. Anyway, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's handmade. Yeah, there's definitely no tags in it. It's handmade. And, um, oh, it's just like a knit rip top. And then the dress. It's got a little sash to tie around the middle. Super vintage dress. It might have been a bad purchase. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh my god. I don't know how to get this back on here. Beep, beep, beep. Aha! Pop it. Okay. Cover this girl back up. Girl. Let's show you some more blankets. Oh, here. Yeah, that was gross. Okay, here. Here is a beaded number. Nightline by Della Rufagali. Large silk mega beaded vest. Uh, looking like dying. There's so much sequins and beads on this thing. It's incredible. Unbelievable. Alright, I was going to show you some more blankets. The girls, my daughter has a friend over for a sleepover last night, and they don't want to take a nap, so I asked them to be as quiet as possible. We'll see, we'll see how quiet two four-year-old girls can be, so anyway. Here we have a knit afghan that I picked up. They were $4 each for these. There was a whole bunch of them, so we just picked out two that like I really like the colors of. This one's like a deep forest green, brown, or tan beige, whatever, orange, uh, throw, and then this one, I also really like the color, so this one's like a teal, uh, greenish blue, yellow, and then the cream or ivory color, those are all super pretty colors, so four dollars a piece for those, they're pretty good size, they're nice and cozy, they're not like itchy kind nice and warm so here's one of the awesome bags I picked up it's got bamboo or at least like wrapped wicker maybe handles and then it's like this woven bag with a big old rooster on it <laughs> and this side has a rooster too it says Portugal across the bottom and it's like this yellow and creamy color it's really really pretty I got two of those I'll show you the other one in a mini but first, let me show you all the things stuffed into this bag. Clothes. I did pick up some clothes. The clothes were $2 a piece. Less other miles. Other. In less otherwise marked. Okay, I just zippered some of the fabric up into the skirt. Anyway, you get the idea. This one is a navy blue on navy blue. Striped. Like businessy type skirt. It's really cute. Vintage. Vintage, thrifted. Adriana Popel. This is silk and then lined with polyester. But it's like a blazer, silky blazer. Cool thing. Uh, and it has these really fun buttons on it. So I thought that was cool. I picked that up for $2. This one has tags on it still. Marisol. I'm pretty sure this is 90s. Uh, this one's marked $4, so I paid $4 for this one. Large polyester spandex. Marisol, anyway, it's like a whiny purple colored uh, velvet tank top with tags. 90s vibes. And last, certainly not least in this bag, the Joanne Leslie Evenings Medium Silk fabulous uh, pink blush beaded sequins. I don't know what it is about these kind of things. They never fit me and even if I could get them on they look weird on me but somebody has got to, oh, excuse me, please, somebody has to love this as much as I do. Like 
Look at this, you guys. Damn. I don't know. I just think it's too pretty. <sighs> so, long sleeve, beaded. Probably not super comfortable to wear, but I don't know. Who cares, right? <laughs> anyway. Put the cock purse over there. And here's the other one. Also says Portugal. It's white. And this one's more like white with the like chicken colors. Rooster chicken? Rooster. Okay, so get on with the handles. $12 each I paid for those bags and I think it was worth it. These are neat. <laughs> $2 I asked to use the bathroom. I found this in the bathroom. It has a little duck on it and it is like a makeup case or shaving case I guess because it's more for like a boy but I really like it so oh yeah that has the razor still so you put all your doohickeys in there it's this I paid six dollars for this and I am in love with this bag it's got the snap closure they call it a mad by design it's like 90s um, this is the mother of pearl and like onyx black beaded crossbody or a shoulder bag purse thingamajig. It is really really cool. I might keep that for myself because I really like that. This is a EVR DIY Russo Apparel Group large silk zip up, and it's got the fun little belts and gold sort of design and a scarf scarf was three dollars it's a Calvin Klein scarf in a pink color oh. Damn. it's got a little snag in it that's all right but, and then it's got like some fringe at the end really pretty really okay okay let's dig in to the hard goods more hard goods this is a Club Daisy Disney's MGM Studio 1987. That's a good year. Disney mug. That was three bucks. Uh, I got these pen and pencil set. Nice black and gold shiny. I don't know why I bought that. It was four dollars. I was just like in there and I was excited. I guess. Hand painted Amia Denver, Colorado, Maine, China. This is really pretty. It's like a stained glass with the eagle birds and the landscape background. Alaska. Little Oli hanger jobber. Really pretty. Yeah. Ah, this fun little ashtray. <laughs> it's like a little, like a little, um, poodle or something and then the glass and spots for the ciggies. Oh, another one. This one has a crane or goose or some sort of bird on it. Pretty. And those are prey. Trying to guess not to break anything today. Some nutcrackers, but they're kind of brass I haven't seen before. I don't see a maker on it anywhere. Um, but they're pretty. Pretty decor. Pretty handle. Aha! The sunflower tree. This is Holly Ross Distinguished China 22 karat gold Laana La Ana PA. So anyway, that is super pretty. It's like shaped like a leaf, and then there's little painted sunflowers on it. Apparently, this is 22 karat gold leaf. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> I paid three dollars for this Spartus Quartz little alarm clock. Probably 80s, I would guess. It might even say, I don't know, it says Japan. Anyway. It definitely works. It's still ticking and it started beeping and going off and I thought it was my kitchen timer and I'm like, I'm not cooking anything. 
Um, so it took me and my boyfriend a little bit of searching and listening, you know, when you're like, get closer to find out. It was this guy just going off and not stopping for a really long time. The alarm. Alright. Alright, so there's a thing in here. I call it a thing because... Oh man, yeah, okay, there's nothing else in the bag. That's okay. Anyway, this happens to be a brass base that sits on like a table or whatever, flower jobber, that holds these little petals this way and is also an ashtray, believe it or not. So each one of these little petals. Goodness, let me see if I can do this. Like, I can't pay eight dollars for this. It looks like okay. So anyway, bam! Look, it's like a flower. Boop a doo. Can you see? Okay. Um, each one of these little petals is an ashtray, and they can go up this way as well and be like a closed bud. But there's, it sits on the table, right? And you put your cigarette in there, and you ash in it, and clean it out. Or it could just be decorative if you want. Oh, and that. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we just put them in this way. It could be decorative if you want, but anyway, this was really cool. I thought it was pretty cool. Ashtray. Okay. I found out this, or I found out, I found out, or power, I found out this was an ashtray on that Facebook group that, that I'm in about the weird finds, so. Somebody had shared it and they're like, what? This is crazy. And then everybody else was like, oh, it's an ashtray. <sighs> okay, I got the thing put away. And now I'll show you the last item that I picked up, which is the coolest item and probably the biggest profit item of the day. I paid $10 for this. It's in the box still. The box says the hecht. H-E-C-H-T. And I looked that up and it is an old, like, industrial building or I guess they made things and now it's apartment buildings so pretty cool it's a pretty old building anyway this is what I got I paid ten dollars for this uh, woven basket purse and it does say made in the Philippines it's lined in pink um, it's in excellent condition rope handles cool little locking oh my goodness closure so anyway I thought that was amazing I definitely bought that I like strange different type of handbags and I especially like when I see people carrying them even though I know we don't want to ruin them but it's cool it's cool to see people rocking those old school types so anyway that's everything if you like the video hit the like button if you like the content subscribe to my channel there will be more to come so see you next time happy hunting